Hi, welcome to my flashlight tutorial for Unreal Engine, where I'll show you how to create a toggleable flashlight with a realistic look to it, like this. So let's get into it. And for this tutorial, we'll be using the Unreal Engine third-person template. So now that we are in the engine, the first thing we want to do to make it easier for the project is down here in the content folder, up in the, under the add import, there's a little toggle here that says show or hide sources panel. We want to go in and click that. And what that will do is if we see content in the drop down, we can now quickly get to our folders and parent folders very quickly. And so that's going to help us um, get through the project very easily and navigate it well. So once we do that, Okay, we want to go into the third person character blueprint. And this is what it looks like. You know, it's just the, the third person character with the camera, the mesh, and the capsule collider. So once we have that, we want to set up the spotlight to where the flashlight to where it will show right here. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a component at the top. Now what a component is, is something that you just add to the character like a light. So we want to go and click add component and in the search components we want to type in spot light. Spotlight. Uh, it might be out of space. Yeah, it has a space. A so spotlight. Alright. So now that we have that in here, alright, what we want to do is we want to move it to the head so you're going to take these arrows and you're going to drag drag it over to where the head is. And if you want to make this on the body, you can. So it's, that's doable. Um, so once you have that in, okay, we're going to make sure it lines up properly. And it does. Okay. And the way the spotlight works is it uses this cone. Okay, so this, this cone determines where the light will be shown. And once that's in there, right, so now that we have it added, we are going to go to the player and we can see, as you can see, there's a light on there. And, you know, it doesn't move with the mesh, so we are going to fix that real quick. So the first thing we're going to do, okay, is we're going to go back into the third person character under third person BP, blueprints, third person character and we are going to click the third person character self at the top and under the details we are going to search control control so you can just type in con and type in controller rotation yaw and what this does is it allows us to move the mesh so if we go click play it allows us to move the mesh with the flashlight, the camera. So now, when we move, it moves realistically. And that's what we want. So, now the flashlight doesn't look very realistic, to be honest. It really doesn't. You see, it's it's just a giant light. Um, it doesn't look like a flashlight, how they have the inner rings and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the spotlight and we are going to add, we're going to exit out of this details on the search and we are going to scroll down until we see light profiles and there's something called an IES texture and this is how game developers create the flashlight look without impacting performance so under the drop down it says none we want to click this and Unreal does come with certain um, profiles already in um, the engine for you. So we're going to use a narrow complex, okay? And as you see, the texture is now selected. And we are going to hit compile. And then we're going to go into the third person example map and click play and test it out. And now, as you can see, there is a flashlight texture and it looks more, way more realistic. And the upside to doing it this way with the texture is it's more performant on the game instead of rendering three or four lights. So now that we have that um, completed, okay, we are going to adjust the values of this. So we are going to go to the spotlight 
and we and under light, right under sockets, under light, okay, we are going to up the attenuation radius, which is how long the cone is. So we're going to make it longer, and we're going to say this is going to be 5,000. That seems like a high number, but it's not too bad. Okay, the outer cone angle can stay the same. And so now it goes farther, which is what we want for this tutorial series. And you can change this however you like, but this is what we want. All right, so let's go back to the third person character at the top. And let's start with the event graph. Now the event graph is where you will put your code to add things like a toggle for the light. And that will just be in any area right here, such as right here. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we actually need to go into edit at the top left and click project settings under configuration. And we need to set up something called an input action event. And what this does is it allows us to, to basically say, hey, if I press this button on my keyboard or gamepad, I want this code to run. And so the way we do that is you click Action Mappings, and you click the little plus. And we need to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Flashlight Toggle. And with that being done, we now need to give it an input key. So something on the keyboard, right, where when we press that button, it'll activate the code. So I'm going to use the F key. You can use a different key, but I'm going to use the F key. And with that being set, we just can go back to the third person example map. And now nothing is done yet. There's no, there's no code in yet. Um, however, with that being said, let's go back to the third person character. Okay, Remember, we're in the event graph um, where the code is. And we're going to scroll up, and we are going to create something called an event begin play. Okay. Now what this event begin play does is when we click this play button right here, or when the game loads, this code will be run first. So if we put code in here that tells the flashlight to turn off, when we click the play button, this is going to be off by default. So let's go ahead and start this out. So we need to get the spotlight. So over here in the component section in the top left, we want to click the spotlight and drag it and drag it into the event graph. And it's going to create this little blue, this little blue pill thing here. Um, so the first thing we want to do, if I can drag it over, let me compile. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to click it, hold it, and drag out and click, and let go. And when we let go, a search thing is going to come up, and we want to type in set hidden. So in the search, we'll type in set hidden in game. And then we're going to connect this, and we will type in, or we will set the hidden to be true. And once the hidden is true, when we hit play, the flashlight is no longer on. Because what that did was, it hid the flashlight from showing. And so now it acts like it's off to the player. So when, it, when we're in the editor, we can see it, but when we click play, on begin play, it turns it off. So now what we need to do is we need to create a input where when we press the F key, it will deactivate this and it'll toggle the flashlight to be on. So what we need to do is zoom out a little bit and scroll down. And we are just actually going to copy this. Okay, we're going to hit Control C and Control V twice. And this will make more sense in a second here. Um, and we are going to right click in the event graph and type in type in um, flashlight toggle. 
Now, if you don't have this, make sure you went into the input action events and set that up. Now, when we do this, we'll have a press and release node. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take the pressed and we want to add a flip flop um, flow control. And basically, this is like a toggle, right? If you press it once, it does A. If you press it again, it does B. So what we want to do is we want to type in A. So we want to type in A. Compile this. Go to hidden. And then we want to set it to be new hidden untrue. Because we want to show the flashlight when we press the toggle. And then in B, we want to hide it again. Because remember, we're toggling it off. Sometimes if you don't hit compile, it'll glitch out. Um, so now it's hidden. Okay. And when we go in here, so this is the code that we need. So we have the event begin play where it turns off in the beginning. And then we have the code where we press the F key. It'll turn it on. And one thing I'm going to do to help make it easier to understand is I'm going to create a comment from this. Okay, so if you highlight it and right click create comment from selection, we can turn off. All right, and then we can do the same thing up here. Right click create comment from selection, turn on flashlight. All right, so now when we go into the third person example map, as you can see, it's on right now, but when we start, it's going to be off. And what we can do is if we go over here, we can toggle it, just like that. And now you have a realistic flashlight that is mounted to the player's head. And you can mount this to other things as well, such as the chest or whatnot. Um, but this works really well. And it's a really realistic flashlight that allows you to add atmosphere to your game. Thank you for watching and don't forget to leave a like and follow for more.